Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I greatly appreciate that. If you're not already a subscriber, please take just a few seconds and subscribe to my channel. It really helps my little channel to grow. If I share any deals you like, do anything, give you any tips, tricks, anything like that, please give the video a thumbs up. That helps my channel too. And just drop down in the comments and say hey. I usually respond to everybody pretty quickly right now because my channel is still kind of small. So don't feel like you're going to send a message and it's just going to be sitting out there in space forever. I do usually reply to everybody. Um, I want to really, really quickly, I'm not going to dwell on it or anything else. Just really quickly, I want to touch on the Ibotta situation. If you don't already know, Ibotta made a really big change last week. They didn't tell anybody about it. They didn't say anything. So unless you were on social media or unless you just happen to be scrolling through their help section, which I never do that. I've had Ibotta for probably seven, eight years. I don't need their help section anymore. But unless you heard it from somebody on YouTube or social media, other ways, or went in the help section, you had no idea that they made this big change. So I think that was kind of kind of shady of them. But am I giving up on Ibotta? Am I washing my hands of the app? No. It is kind of crappy, but every bit of money we get back is something that they don't have to do for us anyway. So I'm trying to stay positive about it. And if you've watched my channel any amount of time at all, you know, I don't use hardly any coupons, so it's not going to affect me a ton. I don't do big CVS hauls anymore. I think lately I've gotten maybe two or three rebates from Ibotta at CVS, so big deal. I can do without that. Um, just today I will use one coupon. It was not attached to an Ibotta rebate, so no problem there and everything else is all digital so let's get started with the deals today the first thing i picked up was some um, prime fresh by smithfield we had this rebate before and i think it was only 50 cents it came back a couple of days ago and now it's one dollar the half pound it has to be eight ounces these are 384 there's a one dollar rebate on ibotta makes it just $2.84 and they do have packages of salami and stuff like that but it will not attach because they're only seven ounces so that's kind of a bummer but I got some ham anyway the next one is another one I'm not sure why but it disappeared last week then it came back this weekend it's for the craft singles they are $3.84 at my store on rollback there's a 50 cent rebate on Ibotta. Makes these just $3.34. The next one is a double deal for the Gold Peak Sweet Tea. I've done this one several times, but they are really good. I actually prefer the Zero Sugar, but they don't seem to have any more at my store. These are $1.78. With your scan and buy kicks on Shopkick, you will get 60 kicks, which is 24 cents. Plus, there's a 50 cent rebate on Ibotta. Makes this 104. The next one is another new deal. I got some Oscar Mayer turkey bacon. These are 398. There's a 50 cent rebate on Ibotta. Makes this just 348. I guess you know what we'll have for breakfast this weekend. Next one is another new deal. The planters. Bold and savory peanuts. These are $3.28. There's a $2 rebate on Ibotta. Makes this just $1.28. And another new deal today for the Bumblebee Quick Catch. This is the only flavor they have in my store, the Mediterranean. Hopefully it's good. These are $3.14. There's a $1.25 rebate on Ibotta. Plus, I have a $2.50 survey on Brand Club that will make this one a $0.61 cent money maker. That is my only money maker of the day. So, yeah, 
but it's okay. Still got lots of good stuff today. And I picked up another bumblebee tuna. This flavor is delicious. The sun-dried tomato and basil. These are 108. There's a 25 cent rebate on my bought it. Makes these just 83 cents. <clears throat> the next one is another new deal for the new yolks. I love, love, love having these for like tuna noodle casserole, for making big pots of soup. It's going to be that time of year before we know it. These are two fifteen. There's a seventy-five cent rebate on Ibotta. Makes these just one dollar and forty cent. Hopefully, we'll start getting some bone broth and bouillon rebate stuff like that that would be great for this time of year the next one this is not about it at all for the nor pasta sides you can also do the same thing for the rice sides these are 124 when you do scan and buy for shop kick you'll get 110 kicks which is the same as 44 cents plus there's 10 cent back on swag bucks makes this just 70 cents. Not bad for a side item. The next one is, I haven't picked this up in a long time, but these are really good. It's for the Gilbert's Craft Sausages. These are $4.66 at the neighborhood market. And there's a 50 cent rebate on Ibotta. Makes it just $4.16. Is it an amazing deal? No, but it's a decent deal for a quick and easy supper something different those are chicken sausages by the way if you've never tried them the next one is for nature's own crafted buns these are a 336 there's a 50 cent rebate on ibotta and there was i think 10 cent on um swag bucks for these two that makes them about 286 if they are on swag bucks it'll be 276 I really do not remember. I looked at so many rebates today. The next one is the only coupon that I use today. <clears throat> it's on these green giant rice veggies. They had one of those little coupon books attached to the freezer a couple weeks ago for these. So it was $1.20 off when you buy two. These are $2.78 a piece, which is $5.56. After the coupon, it made it $4.31. I did two different rebates on or surveys on Brand Club, and that's why I got two different barcodes so I can use both surveys. I have a two dollar survey and a dollar seventy five. That will give me a total of three seventy five on Brand Club. Makes my final price for these fifty six cent for both, or twenty eight cent each. I'm okay with that. The next one is. Morning Star Farms Sausage Links. These are $4.18 at the Neighborhood Market. There's a $1.25 rebate on Ibotta. Makes these just $2.93. I actually wanted the Impossible Sausage in the bags. The, I think it's an 8 count. But they had none in my store. Those, if you haven't tried them, are really, really good. And there's like a two dollar and 25 cent rebate on a bottle for those the next one is another new one these jimmy dean egg bites these are 282 and there's one dollar back from ibotta makes these just 182 not too bad the next one is got some nature made vitamin gummies these were 998 i got the vitamin d extra strength there's a three dollar rebate on ibotta plus at a two dollar and 75 cent survey on brand club that makes these 423 and oh i found remember how i tell you to always look at the clearance well i did that again today this suave pink they still had two or three left maybe they're marked down to 324 there's a $1 rebate on Ibotta, plus when you scan and buy in Shopkick, you'll get 360 kicks, which is the same as $1.44. Makes the final price for this just $0.80. Cent. This will be a donation item. It's luscious curls, and obviously I don't have curls, so I'm okay with $0.80 cent for a donation item. The next one, this was an even better deal than I realized it would be. 
treats for the Minty's Dental Treats. You guys know I have to buy dog treats over and over and over because ours get them for breathing, you know, not as a treat. They just get them all the time. These little Minty's are $9.94. There's a $2 rebate on Ibotta. There are two different sizes, but my store only had 20 count and 40 count. There's also another bag that gives you $5 back on Ibotta. Just check with the sizes. And even though our dogs are not tiny or small, they get so many treats. I'm good with this because there's more in this bag. Anyway, you get a $2 rebate from Ibotta. Plus, scan this to fetch. And since it is a Vet IQ brand, there is a $2.25 rebate on fetch. Plus, you guessed it, I did a survey on Brand Club for $5.00. That will make my final price for these just $0.69 cent for a $10 bag of treats. That is probably my favorite deal of the day. Okay, for the totals for today. <clears throat> oh, let me caution you right quick. When I scanned my receipt for Ibotta, it said, yay, we verified 10 offers. I'm like, um, no, I had 15. So, there was a few things I had to go back in and find. These little Minty's dog treats were one of them that it didn't automatically pick up. It did not automatically pick up my Morning Star Farms. It did not pick up my Gilbert Sausage. It also did not pick up my Planters. And let's see what else was it I had to go back and find. Oh! my Smithfield I had to go back and find. All five of those things I had to go back and find. But I was able to go back and find them, scan my barcode, and I got my offers. So for my 15 offers I got $16. Then I got that big $1 bonus for doing my midweek money maker. So that makes $17 back from Fetch. I got $2.30 I mean from Ibotta. $2.30 back from Fetch, $2.13 back from Shopkick, $0.24 cent from Swagbucks, woo, and $14 from Brand Club. That is a total of $35.67 back in rebates today. My total was $62.16. You know how I roll. I swapped my prepaid PayPal card, paid nothing, and I get back $35.67. So today's trip was a $35 moneymaker. The only little moneymaker we had today was that bumblebee catch. But, you know, I think it worked out pretty good. Even if you don't pay for yours like I do, that's still over half savings. Started at $62, you get $35 back. So that's still over 50% savings just from using Ibotta and the other rebate apps with no coupons. So it can be done. Trust me, we will get through it. I hope everyone has an amazing day and I will see you again Thursday. Bye.